It's just hard. <laughs> My name is Mandy Garavac. I am a manager and bartender at Jake's Roadhouse. I've seen a lot. I've been here for over five and a half years, and I've seen a lot of original costumes. I want to say that one year, I think it was Grand Prix this past year for Grand Prix, there was the Mario Kart guys running around, and they had the balloons on the back and everything. I thought that was pretty original. I've seen a group of seven girls dressed up as a Budweiser six-pack, and one was the bottle opener. I thought that was pretty cute. But, I mean, basically anybody that dresses up, they do a pretty good job, other than the ones that just come in jammers. All right, my name is Mitchell. Brown. I'm a major in computer graphic technology for construction design and web page development design. I don't know, but I've seen a lot of people in diapers. Grown men in diapers walking around, and I'm not sure if I'm quite going to get there, but probably there's some superhero <laughs> or some bandit of some sort, or there's always the classical condom guy, penis guy, or something like that. I might do one of those. They're hilarious. <laughs> Worst costume I've seen is the blackface thing, where because it's like old school racism. A lot of people don't know about it, where they paint the face black, do the pink lips and everything. Worst costume I've ever seen. Uh, best costume I've seen. Some chick did the Xena Warrior Princess, and she was bigger than Xena Warrior Princess. It's a lot of fun, and I think it's wonderful that Purdue does this. Um, I've actually heard rumors that the police officers on campus are trying to get it stopped. But in all, I think that it's just a really good time for the students to get dressed up and come out and party for their team and then go to the game. I'm Jennifer Webb. Nope. I'm Jennifer Johnson. Okay. Well, it's something that uh, only Purdue does, which I'm pretty proud of that fact. And um, it's before every home game. We get together. Um, everyone is comes before the games to the bars, dressed up in the craziest costumes I've ever seen, and um, definitely drink a lot before the games and get ready to go cheer on our team. <laughs> and I think that if we have any problems, the most problems come from the people that tailgate and then come to the breakfast club bars. I mean, because they're out there drinking God knows what and not being, you know, watched by anybody that's an actual employee so at least here you know the employees are out to look out for you we're not trying obviously we're serving you alcohol but we're not trying to get you so belligerent wasted that you're going to pass out in an alley and get alcohol poisoning that's not the point of breakfast club the point is for everybody to have a good time and i think that's what everybody really just does is they come out they have a good time they get dressed up they end up going to the game and then they go home take a nap and they come back out later on that night